Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to Purdue Network Drive known as the W Drive from home PC using a Windows. The first thing that you need to do is download and install Cisco AnyConnect. This will be your VPN to connect to your network drive. So I'm going to assume that you have downloaded and installed Cisco AnyConnect. So I'm going to open up my Cisco AnyConnect right here. And the address that I'm going to be typing in to my VPN is going to be web vpn2.purdue.edu. And once I hit connect, okay, it's going to ask me for some uh, authentication. And your username is going to be your Purdue ID. So J-I-N-S-U-H is my Purdue ID. And for the password, it's going to be your Purdue password, comma, and then your boiler key. Okay. So say, for example, if my Purdue password is going to be, say, my password and then I'm going to give it a comma and then if my boiler key gives me the six digit number one two three four five six this is going to be my password okay so I'm going to start typing in my password obviously it's not my password as an M Y P A S S W O R D so I'm going to type in here my password and I'm going to get my boiler key and my boiler key is again a certain six digit number and then once i hit okay okay so my vpn is establishing a connection okay and now it has been connected okay so once it is connected it actually goes into the background and if i want to invoke it okay you could clearly see that, yes, I have a valid connection. And then you can see a lock that is confirmed. And you can always disconnect if you're done. Okay. Now, the next step is that I would like to connect to my uh, Purdue network drive. Okay. In order to connect to my Purdue network drive, what you're going to do is that you're going to open up any folder here. Okay. And under where it has this PC, you are going to right click and you're going to click on map network drive. Okay. And once I click on map network drive, okay, let me drag this into the picture here and I'm going to select my W drive. Okay. Once I select my W drive, okay, I'm going to be typing in the address of my network drive, which is going to be two backslashes, my home, dot itab dot purdue dot edu another backslash my home oops my home and then backslash and my purdue id for my case it's jinsa j i n s u h and then i'm gonna click on finish okay and it's trying to connect and it is asking for my credentials and obviously it's going to be my Purdue password again without the boiler key at this time and please make sure that you do have the one Purdue here as your domain if you do not have this then uh, please add this to your domain okay so I'm going to be typing in my Purdue password okay I'm going to hit enter okay and now I had been connected Okay, so that is if I go to network locations, okay, now you could see that my W drive is connected. And in fact, these are the folders that I have for my W drive. Okay, so hopefully that was a good introduction in terms of showing you how to connect to your Purdue network drive. And um, thank you.